Welcome Aries, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here for your next 48, your love and your well-being reading. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping and clicking on this video. I'm gonna do a quick spread with my big boy. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull quite a bit of cards, okay? We're just gonna do a free stand, freestyle. I've been trying to figure out what my spread's gonna be for this channel. I figured out, I'm gonna just figure it out on the way, okay guys? Hope my Aries are doing okay. So let's see what's going on with you. What's your energy for the next 48 hours whenever you watch this video, whenever you click on this video, okay? I keep feeling something wet. I'm like, let's make sure. Also, look at my cup, guys. I love it. Look. <laughs> it's so tarot friendly. I love that. So, mm. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to shuffle quite a bit because I want to make sure I'm getting your messages, okay? But yeah, Aries. Um, the song starting off for you guys right now is Your Peace by Little Baby and Jacquees or Jacquez. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, this song getting me into the mood. I like the beat. All right, something about your peace. So let's see what that's about. Maybe that might mean something to you. Your peace of mind. You want a piece of somebody. They want a piece of that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna shuffle two more times. All right, and then we'll get started for your energy. And then we're gonna lead into your your person's energy, the person you're thinking about romantically. Okay. All right, I lied. One more shuffle, and then I'm going to pull some random cards for you. So what's my Aries energy for the next 48 hours? The Queen of Swords is here. Random cards we're doing here. We have the High Priestess here. What else do we have? Justice card. All right. One more card. The Nine of Wands. Okay. Sorry, I'm like extra loud for no reason. You can tell when a bitch just got a new table. All right, guys. So... Something about your peace of mind is what I'm getting, especially with this song, Your Peace Playing, because you have the Queen of Swords here. That is the throne of truth. So something about someone is, it seems like you're, because this is your energy area. It seems like you're being very, um, very strict with somebody, okay? You have the High Priestess here. So it's like you know something about someone, and that's why you're choosing to treat them this way. You have the Justice card here, so you're definitely going to be getting justice within the next 48 hours whenever you watch this video. Or this could have happened already. But you know something about someone is going to cause you to bring justice here. The Nine of Wands is here. So it's like you are... It's like you want to... Um, you're working on yourself right now. Even though that would be like the Hermit card. But I'm getting that you're working on yourself. You refuse to have people around you who are fake or just um, haters. I'm getting... So let's see. What's the Queen of Swords here? We're going to start clarifying. So we can get into your messages for the next 40 hours from my Aries. Okay. I love y'all, my fire signs. Y'all are like so fiery. I have so many Aries friends and y'all make me crack up all throughout the day. You guys are really the fun friend out of the group, okay? So what's going on with my Aries? Why is the Queen of Swords here for my Aries? Damn, that one just slapped me in the face. Damn, Aries, you want to fight? <laughs> you trying to fight somebody? Because that shit just slapped me in the face. You have the Three of Cups, of, you have the three of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles. So like I said kind of weird but it's like you it's like you caught on to somebody having a third party or somebody caught on to you having a third party and the nine of pentacles is somebody's choosing to be single somebody wants to be single somebody doesn't want to be in a relationship or you're choosing to be single and you're catching a lot of slack for that you could be dating someone who wants to move forward with you and just being an aries you're very free-spirited and i feel like you have the nine of pentacles here it's like you just want to be alone sorry you just want to be alone I don't have my stand, so I'm just propping my phone up. All right, so the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for my Aries for their energy for the next 48? The World card. So it's like something is, you know something, and because of that, it's like something's coming to an end here. The World card is here. The High Priestess is here. It's like you know something about someone. You know the truth about someone. Oh, my God. What else can you give me for the High Priestess, please? Give me another card to clarify. Okay, it could be with the Sagittarius. You could be dating a Sagittarian or somebody in your family is a Sagittarius, but the Temperance card is here. And the only reason I say that is because the Temperance card is Sagittarian's card, right? But then we also have the Nine of Wands here, and it's also the Sagitt this is also Sagittarian energy. So you could be fighting with the Sagittarius right now, or you know something about the Sagittarius and you're just done. You don't want to deal with this person anymore. Or you're ending something with someone because it's very unbalanced. The 
the reason that this is ending between you and this person is because something is not balanced here. So you don't have to be dealing with a Sagittarian. If you're not dealing with a Sagittarian, or even if you are, it's like there's unbalance um, in the relationship. There's not equal give and take. Okay? Seasons is playing for you guys right now. So it's like as the season is changing into fall, you're noticing something about someone or you're, you're just catching up on game on someone. What's a justice card here for my Aries? What's the justice card? Why's a justice card here? Oh, shit. Okay. The Three of Pentacles. So it's like somebody's going to come and talk to you to try to smooth things out with you with the Three of Pentacles here, right? And it seems like somebody's very unfocused here, so that could be where the imbalance is. Because if you see the guy in the middle, he's not really looking at the plans or even engaged in the conversation, and so is this person's not. But there's one person who's focused, right? And then we also have the Three of Cups here. So I'm getting heavy third-party energy, like... Somebody caught wind of somebody dating someone else, and um, it's like, it's you, okay. What I'm getting is, you could be dating someone, and you found out that you're dating someone else, and you're not willing to budge with this person, or even be like, hey, it's okay if you're dating someone else, because you feel like this person can't balance the three people, and the two people that they're dealing with. So, if you're dating someone and you feel like you've been getting the short end of the stick, even though you guys are not exclusive, you still want to end things not only not because they're dating someone else. You're like, fuck that. I'm an Aries. I have options too. But you're not going to treat me like shit or you're not going to treat me like the underdog when you're treating this other person like high and mighty. What's the point of me being in this equation, okay? Or someone could be feeling this way about you. But this is your energy, Aries, okay? Give me one more card for the Justice card, please. Only one more card for the Justice card. Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to move forward here. That's you, Aries. You want to move forward from this person. You're looking elsewhere. You're like, fuck that. You could have your two options, but you ain't going to juggle me, baby. You ain't going to put one stick higher than the other, my nigga. So I'm going to be moving forward. I feel like you don't want to deal with this person because they don't know. You're like, listen, I'm not trying to be your girlfriend. I'm not trying to be your boyfriend. I'm not trying to be your wife. I'm not trying to be your husband right now. But you're showing me that you can't even like, you know, you can't. We in a dating stage and it feels like you are friend zoning me, you know, or not even friend zoning me. But it's like the other option this person has, they um, complain so much to this person all the time that when this person comes around you, it's like they they have no energy. It's like it's like dead. You know what I'm saying? You're like, I don't deserve that shit. Like I'm I'm worth so much more than that. What's the nine of wands here for my Aries? The last card you have for your energy. And then we're going to clarify even more. I have a card that just sitting here so let's see what that is six of cups so you have good memories with this person but you're like i don't care if the memories are good i don't care if we can get along it's like you're focused somewhere else you see it's like this is you aries you could be really focused on this person ready to offer them a flower put the flower in the cup and this person is just dwindling with their flower just looking elsewhere or when they come around you they're so like dead inside and it's because of this other person they're dealing with it has nothing to do with you but the fact that this person can't turn off that it's like how are we gonna move forward you understand all right what's the nine of wands here Okay, so I wanted to say this, but I wanted to see what's going to come out first before I said it. So the hangman just came out of here, right? And I was going to say, someone might feel like they're stuck. You could feel like you're stuck with this person, or this person could feel like they're stuck with the person that is makes them feel dead inside. So this person comes, it's like the person they're dealing with is like an energy vampire. When they get around you, it's like dead, right? And you're like, why are you treating me like this? Like, I literally just give you positivity and love. And it's because this person... You either feel stuck with this person, if this is your scenario, or if this is that person who's acting that way. They feel stuck with their person. Nowhere to run is playing right now. So it's like somebody feels really stuck. But that's crazy because the Nine of Wands is here. So give me one more card. So because you feel stagnant, you're choosing to just focus on yourself, Aries. What else can you give me for the Nine of Wands? Very interesting, guys. The Wheel of Fortune. I, I'm sorry, but I have to say it. There has to be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with right now, Aries. And you and Sagittarius are highly compatible, I have to say that. So, with this person, you could be holding on to this person so much because you know how compatible you how, blah, 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 how compatible you guys are. But at the same time, you're just like, <laughs> I can't I can't freaking wait on you. I'm too popping for that, you know? The Wheel of Fortune is here, so it's like by choosing to be unstuck, your your fortune's gonna get better. So you know this because you, you see this is not going anywhere with this person right now because they might be dealing they might be dealing with another person 
or they could be dealing with mental problems right now. A lot of people have mental issues right now during this COVID, during this crisis. I said during this COVID, during this crisis. Um, also, it could be a family member who's getting in between y'all, but you're just not choosing to stick around anymore. You're like, I do not want to be stuck like this. I'm an Aries. I have options. I don't want to be the hangman. And you're stopping my good luck. And I feel like I'm missing out on great opportunities by staying stuck in this. Okay. So now we're going to go into your person's energy and see what's going on and how that can relate. Oh my God, Aries. I feel you though. Like if this person, if you give them positivity every time y'all come around with each other and all this person does is, you know, complain or it's just negative as fuck. Why would you stay in that? Because it's like, you probably, you probably hung out with this person once and it was a dead ass vibe, right? And then you're like, you know what? It was just a bad day. I'm gonna hang out with them again. You hang out with them the second time. It's a bad ass vibe. And you're like, okay, I know they're going through something, but I'm here for you. I'm trying to make your spirits up. The third time you're like, uh-uh, I can't keep doing this because you're killing my vibe. You're making me feel down now. All right, guys, let's see what's going on with your romantic interest. I'm going to do a freestyle again. I'm just going to pull random cards. What's going on with Aries is, Aries is, <laughs> what's going on with Aries um, romantic interest, the person they're thinking about romantically for the next 48. Give me some cards on their energy and what they're going to be doing with their, what they're feeling for the next 48 hours. I'm going to shuffle three more times and then we'll pull randomly. Sorry if me hitting the deck like that is so loud, but I love it. I don't know. It makes me happy for some reason, so I'm sorry. If that bothers you, just comment down below. I'll try to change it. But if you can rock with it, then just rock with it. But if it's so loud, just let me know. But I'm, I'm kind of extra. I'm a fire sign as well, so I'm extra as hell. All right, guys. So let's see. What is Aries's um, romantic interest's energy? So your person is feeling stuck too. Your person is feeling stuck too with the suspension card. This is like the hangman card to me. It's like your person's feeling very stuck. You could be dealing with the Piscean. What else do we have here? Oh my God, literally the same card came out for your person. It's like they're working on themselves. They're choosing to work on themselves too. So y'all could be marrying each other. Let me just pull some random cards for the rest. The Queen of Wands, like I said, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries or Leo or Sagittarius. The Four of Swords is here. So it's like somebody's working on themselves. Somebody's in hermit mode themselves. But then somebody feels very safe with you. The Ten of Cups they have with you. So like I said, this person is very um, closed off for some reason. Every time you guys get around, this person seems very distracted. This person looks like they're just focused on themselves. But they also look very depressed while doing it. So it's nothing wrong with someone focusing on themselves. We all want to be able to be better in our lifetime, right? But when someone comes around and they're also down too and you're focusing on yourself, it's like, do you even want to be part of this relationship? So that's what I'm getting. Person could be a Libra and you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? But I'm getting Sagittarius energy, Piscean energy, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, and Pisces um, energy here. All right, so the suspension card is here. Like I said, your person is feeling very stuck. Let's see, why is your person feeling stuck? Why is Aries person feeling stuck right now? Why are they in the suspension mode? Why are they in a suspension mode? Give me a give me a reason for this spirit. Why is your person gonna be in suspension? Oh shit. Give me one card. Oh, you see, I'm telling you, somebody's being violent. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You might be just be done with this person. You're just like, oh, I can't no more. All right. So it's like somebody is... <laughs> okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles here, right? So it's like it shows that somebody's focused on something else. Maybe their money. Like I said, your person could be going through a time right now where they're either low in money because of the crisis or they just lost their job maybe and they're looking for other jobs or your person just is getting low on money and they're, they can't focus because they're so into their money. Could be dealing with an Aquarian because we do have the star card. But I feel like somebody's focused on their dreams right now and not really focused in the relationship. So that's very weird. Let me go deeper into that because you can focus on your dreams and still be focused in a relationship. I know people who are heavy in their career they get so heavy in their career, they reach the top of the pyramid, and then they be sad and lonely and just using their vibrator every day. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just making jokes. But I'm just saying, you know, like, people will put their job before everything, and then you'll be old as fuck with no children, no, no spouse. And even if you don't believe in marriage, just no partner, and just lonely as hell. Like, all you got is your money. <laughs> that ain't shit. It does not help you. That shit do not make your... You know what I'm saying? That thing don't help you at night. 
when you get a little frisky, what does that money gonna do for you? Money dirty as fuck too. It might give you a yeast infection or STD. <laughs> I'm childish. Okay. What's the page of pentacles here? So maybe you notice this about your person. They're more into their money. Yeah, this person is the creator, which is the king of wands. Okay, so this is the fire sign that you're dealing with, Aries. You're dealing with another fire sign, bless your heart. But you guys are very compatible with fire signs, so I don't see that being anything. But I see that this person is trying to build wealth. The king of wands is like manifesting something. The person wants to manifest their dreams, the star card. They're more, they're more in their head about that. Maybe they feel, maybe a person is discouraged about their, how far they've gone in life at their age. Everybody feels that way, even me. And I'm only in my 20s. Everybody feels that way, but it's like, you cannot rush anything. Okay, what's the star card here for your person? Oh my God. So because your person feels stuck, I told you there's something that's distracting your person. This could be another person. If it's not another person, it could be a family member or it could be their job or their dream. Something is like eating them mentally, okay? What's the star card here for Aries person? Next 48, what's the star card? You can see this about this person. They seem very distracted when they're with you. Politics is here. That's the Seven of Swords. So it's like something about their dreams. They don't believe that it can happen or they've been they've been let down before. Also, your person could be depressed, like I told you before. Your person could be putting on a false mask around everybody else. And maybe that's why they have no energy when they're around you. Because you're like, I'm getting this feeling like you haven't seen your friend, your friend romantic interest your partner whoever this is to you you haven't seen them all week right and then you finally get to see them and this person's just like this and they're just like you know just distracted they seem unhappy i'm getting it's because this person puts on a false mask all week to their family to their um co-workers to their job to the outside world and they really feel depressed inside and when they're with you, since you know them the, the best or know them so well, they just have no energy to keep up that charades with you, even though they know that they, even though they know that you could possibly help them or they should treat you better because you are the only person who's there for them, okay? Trust by Brant Fias is playing right now. So it's like somebody, you're having trust issues because this person acts like that in front of um, around you. You're having a lot of trust issues with this person. Why is the nine of wands here for your person? You guys are mirroring each other. Y'all have like similar cards almost. What's the nine of wands? Nine of wands, please, for Aries person. Next 48, please give me one card. Y'all are getting the same cards. Y'all just need to speak to each other. I'm getting that nobody communicates because if this person's acting stiff around you, Aries, I'm getting that you act the same way around them. Like if you go around them and not they're not being open, you refuse to ask them about their day because you're like, how could you treat me like this? You know what I'm saying? And then guess what? This person has a two of wands too. So it's like they're, they're trying to move forward too. Maybe y'all had an argument about this and this person's like, I'm so depressed. I can't even like explain my emotions to you. Or this person just feels like they don't have emotions right now. I feel like your person's going through a lot of bullshit. All right, let's keep going. What's the two of wands? Yeah, the ace of swords. So it's like your person's in their head. They're in their head. They probably know that you're... Ugh, sorry. They probably know that you are in this mode where you're looking for it as well. And they're in their head about it, and they're like, man, I need, to, I need to try to say something to Aries. I don't want to lose Aries, but your person's so depressed or so down that they're just like, fuck it. Like, they're letting, they're self-sabotaging themselves and letting great opportunities slip by just by being depressed, okay? Why is your person the queen of wands? King of wands is here again, okay? So, like I said, this person's trying to manifest something. So your person's the queen of wands and the king of wands. It's like this person's focused on their manifestations, their dreams right now. Something that hurt them in the past, something hurt them in the past, right? They're guarding something with their heart. Somebody probably let them down bad. And I'm not talking about romantically. I'm talking about like when it comes to their work or something that they just can't focus on this relationship right now for some reason. Or they just don't want to talk to anybody about it. It's like they... They know that you would be able to talk to them. Or maybe they feel like you can't relate because of something. Maybe you guys are different in a way that y'all come from different worlds. You understand what's the King of Wands here? The Empress card came out here and the Chariot card. 
So this person is worried about their success. They don't think they're successful. They're probably thinking to themselves too, like, oh my God, because best you had right now is by Don Tolliver is playing. So this person probably feels like you are the best that they ever had, but they feel like they would not have success with you because, which is the chariot card, because you're the empress, right? To them. They want to have on this king of wands energy, but they're in the queen of wands energy. It's like they're still not assured of themselves. They're still hiding. They're keeping things hidden. You see this person's kind of like, there's two trees here and they're like kind of hiding, peeking out. They refuse to reveal them true selves to you. Um, but the empress here, this person feels like you're the best you they ever had. And they're worried about their success won't be enough for you that eventually you'll get bored of them and move on. So why should I open up to Aries? Okay, let's see. The four swords is here. Why is the four swords here for Aries person next 48, please? Give me a card or a couple cards, okay? Oh, yeah. This person wants a new beginning for their job, for the way that they make money or just want to move up. They feel like they're stagnant right now. Your person could be a workaholic. Your person could be a workaholic. They don't have to be a Capricorn, right? But your person could be such a workaholic that the slightest little um, setbacks at work will depress them you understand so this person really puts heavy emphasis on their money on their pentacles and it's like they want a promotion they want a new way to make money they want to make more money and they want this new beginning with that right and that's why they're such in hermit mode this is not the hermit card but it kind of reminds me of hermit mode look how this person is working endlessly their house looks fucking crazy this person can't even wake up and smell the coffee you understand this person's so stuck and distracted because of their success oh my god wow i feel for your person it's not an excuse for how they're treating you but i do feel for them because i feel like they feel like a failure in some way and that's the worst feeling to ever have you know what's the ten of cups so it feels like you make them feel like they're everything though because they have the ten of cups of how they feel about you what's the ten of cups here for aries person Despite all of this, you still make them feel good. That's why they feel so embarrassed to even talk to you about these things because they want to seem like a king, like the king of wands in your eyes. And they don't feel that way to you. They don't feel that way, but you obviously feel that way about them. So yeah, the Ten of Cups is here for your person. You got the Page of Cups here. Somebody wants to tell you about what they're going through, but it's like they are rather just carry their burdens to themselves. This is why this person is so distracted when they're around you. They want to open up to you, but they're like, what's the point? I'm supposed to be the strong king of wands. I'm supposed to be the king of wands. And I'm supposed to be strong. I'm just going to have to carry my burdens and just not even say anything, you know? But they do want to open up to you. So you might need to initiate to this person like, hey, I know you're going through some stuff. But I'm here for you. And I love you, rich or broke. You know, if you do, you know, don't be lying to people. But... Tell them, like, you know, I love you no matter what is going on with you. I'm, you know, I, I see that you're not, I see that you're not confident right now because you think that I, I and other people think of you less than if you're not making all this money or if you're not as successful as you're putting your standards to. But just let them know that you're there for this, this person no matter what you like. Tell them, like, Aries, y'all are very fiery, right? So I know y'all be liking to get down with the get down. Y'all have a lot of passion, okay? So you might have to tell this person like, hey, we don't we don't have to do nothing romantic. We can just sit and talk about our problems. I have problems. Let's both open up. Let's see if we can help each other, you know? That's what a, a budding, I feel like this is not even a relationship yet. It might be, but that's what a relationship is all about. Whether you're trying to make a relationship or you're already in a relationship. It's about being there for your person, you know, um, more than just romantically. And I feel like this person really, really needs you right now, Aries. So that's all I have for you for your next 48. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you enjoyed yourself, if you had fun with me today, please like the video, comment down below. I love to read your comments and subscribe to stay tuned for your next 48. I'll be pushing it out soon. So yeah, I'll see you in a, in a couple of days. I hope you guys have a good one. Please be there for your person or if this is you, if the roles are reversed, Aries, you might need to speak up to your person because I feel like they're trying to be there for you and you're pushing them away or vice versa. This could be your person. So yeah, just, just let that person know you're there for them and that you love them and you would, you know, you don't give a fuck about their material success. All that will come eventually, you know? All right, Aries, I love you guys. I'll see you in your next video. Have a great day. Bye.